In our airplanes, there are a lot of places where you can have an air leak. But if you're not making air pressure with the motor running, then it's very likely that you have a leak from your snot bottle or you have a leak from the banjo fitting under the compressor. Or even if you are making air pressure, when you shut your airplane down and you open the snot valve, if you're not getting a good whoosh of air coming out, then you probably also have a slight leak in one of these two places. That's what we're gonna look at today. Hey guys, Gil Lee Paz with the Red Star Pilots Association. Have you ever had an experience where while flying or while taxiing around, you realize that you're not making air pressure? You take off, you retract your gear, and you notice that you have less air than you had prior. That means either your compressor isn't working or you've got a leak somewhere. And before we go to replace the compressor, which is a difficult job and involves a lot of cursing, let's check two areas where you probably have a leak. And if those are fine, then we can take a look at troubleshooting the compressor. But first, we're gonna focus on these two areas. And the first is, is this, is the snot bottle, which is notorious for leaking. And the second is the banjo fitting on the other side, underneath the compressor. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. So why do snot bottles leak? Well, let me show you what this valve looks like. Here's another one that I've pulled off from another snot bottle. And if you remove this nut, you get to the actual seat. And what you'll see here is that this is a very hard rubber that has a point on it and the point has been eaten away. And what'll happen is, is that as hard as you close it, it will not give you a good seal. And that's a problem because it's supposed to be holding very, very high pressure, somewhere around 700 PSI. And so if that's the case, you're actually gonna be getting a leak through here. And so it's important every once in a while to remove this bottle, clean it out, get all the gunk out of it, and check this valve to see that it's in good condition. If not, we'll show you later in the video how you can replace it. So one way to check the snot valve and to check the banjo fitting on the other side is to open up this fitting on the right side here of the snot bottle and take your pressure, air pressure, put it firmly in here and put some air in. And everything should be sealed. So what we want to do is we want to put some soapy water and spray it on this fitting, spray it down here. And we're also going to spray the banjo fitting on the other side. And now when we put air in on, on this side, we should not be getting any bubbles. And that looks pretty good. Now remember, if your snot valve is leaking, it may be leaking right through this valve, which we've not tested yet. So we need to remove this and we need to put air in and see if any air is coming out with the valve closed. So the valve is closed and we see that no air is coming out. So this valve is good. So now we're on the other side and we are taking a look at the banjo fitting and we have it soaked up and we're going to see if we have any leaks there. And as you can see, there are bubbles coming out. So we do definitely have a leak from this banjo fitting. It's either one of the crush washers that needs to be replaced or the nuts just need to be tightened. So as is often the case, we did not have a problem with the compressor. The compressor probably works fine, but we did have a leak from the banjo fitting. And oftentimes we'll find leaks again on this snot bottle. Fix those before looking at your compressor. So one of the things that I think you've seen is a modification that we have actually in the library to remove this valve and replace it with a stainless steel swage lock valve. So this comes off and you toss that aside um, and then you'll pick up a swage lock valve which looks like this. And here is the actual specifications on it. 
SS-43M4-S4. You can buy this from Swage Lock, or every once in a while, um, you can buy them, find them on eBay, which I did, uh, and they're quite a bit less expensive, probably somewhere 50 to 75 bucks for this, as opposed to about 100 and $125 buying it from a Swage Lock dealer. So all you're gonna do is realize that the original metric fitting is smaller than the NPT, this is quarter inch NPT. And so what you're gonna have to do is carefully drill this, drill the old thread out, and then tap it for a new quarter inch NPT thread, and then probably put a little bit of Teflon tape and screw that back on and make it fit for your airplane. So that works really well. These are bulletproof stainless steel. They're not gonna get gunked up in the same way as the original one would have.